Yeah. My, my buddy Wendy is on my QVC Facebook page right now, Dan Hughes QVC, and if you jot the questions down, she can get in my ear, I can answer them live, or we can have her type them in. This was a problem solution item. Almost 14 years ago, I went to a company by the name of Bethlehem Lights, and they have been the leader in industrial lighting here at QVC, and I had mentioned, guys, there's things on my farm I cannot light. I can't do it, and I have to have more lights. Here's a good example. To do something beautiful like this would require running an extension cord right down the length of this, this pillar, running it towards the, the porch. I'm gonna trip, my wife's gonna trip. Why can't we get battery operated lights that work? And the answer was, the technology doesn't exist. It isn't possible right now. These guys never settle. They went and designed what is still the finest battery operation for Christmas lights of anybody. I want to introduce you to Brian. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited about this new set, and I'll tell you why. We did a while supplies last site last year. You manufactured for us thousands of garlands, thousands of wreaths in multicolor, and then also in beautiful white lights. We bought everything they made. <laughs> It saved us money as a retailer, it will save you money as the end consumer, and you will have commercial quality lighting. Good example, it all began with me with wanting to put, crazy as it sounds, a wreath on the front of a pickup truck. <laughs> because I wanted a, a lit Christmas wreath on the front of my pickup truck. And it didn't exist. It was this guy. It was this More guy. This size, right? I, I bought my first one from these guys. It's been over 10 years ago now in battery operation. It's the same wreath I put on the front of my pickup truck every year. I drive it through the snow, through the rain, and every year it lights up. That's commercial quality. These are thicker, fatter, more light, Correct. brighter than ever before. And how did you bring them in at a better price? What we did was we essentially said, okay, let's get what we did really well last year, make it better, pack it with lights, and then essentially we said, okay, make one collection, focus yep. all our energies, all our resources, make it great. And by doing that and kind of having that tunnel vision of making one great collection, you can actually come up with a tremendous value. Uh, and I'll tell you something, again, it's all about synergy. For me, I light a fence row, just like this, with wreaths. Now, some of my older wreaths I'm, I'm replacing, but I got more than a decade of use out of them. And they still light, but I like the bigger, thicker. Sure. So we've got two wreath size. We've got a 36 inch, and then we've got a 24 inch. Imagine on your garage door, where you can't run a cord, nope. a 36 inch wreath, big old fatty. <laughs> Look at how lush daddy. that is. It's beautiful. And our studio lights are up. This is battery operation that looks like it's been plugged in. The jewel tones are real, they're rich, they're vibrant. The 24 inch wreath is perfect. Everyone dreams of a wreath on the front door at Christmas. Right. And we've all tried it, those of us who are insane enough to light everything that doesn't move, but there's no electrical <laughs> cord, you're not tripping on anything, the battery box is hidden, rain, snow, the elements, they're not affected. And there's a built-in timer. Six hour timer, so don't turn it on, turn it off. You set it once in the beginning, you're set for the season. The batteries last more than the season. They absolutely do. You put this up for Thanksgiving, you'll be able to get all the way through New Year's at maximum brightness and then some. Okay, the garlands that we are presenting come in two different lengths. We've got six foot and then we've got nine foot. Let me help you. On a doorway. This is two nine foot Two swagged. nine footers swagged. On a banister. Now, I know different length stairwells, but on a banister, usually nine feet is good. What I do on the inside of my home, our kitchen, we have a, a country kitchen that's very dark, it's just not enough lighting in there. My entire decorating in my kitchen takes me about three minutes, and I have more people compliment the kitchen than any other room of our house. All we do is we take six foot garlands, and we fold them in half and put them between the countertop and the backsplash. Very cool. And we run them all the way down the length of the counter, and because they're battery operated, I've still got places to plug in right. my mixer, the toaster oven, 
my coffee maker, nice. I gotta have my Keurig. So we will buy the garlands in multiples. We then have an independent, freestanding, battery operated tree. Nice. We, oh, no, no, so the tree oh, is no, sold no. out, I'm sorry. The yes. tree's already gone? So the tree sold out earlier, yeah, so we are down to the wreath and the garland. <laughs> this is my first chance to present these already, and I've, the trees are already gone. I have people every year who do this, and I understand it, I really do. It's October, it's early October, and I'll have people around, and they'll, they'll email me, and they go, why do you start so early? <laughs> you know, Halloween isn't even here right. yet. Uh, that's why, because with things like this, we can offer these pricing, stories but only while we have the inventory right. and we're not anywhere near Christmas yet and the tree is gone which means yes. I can't even get those back in for Christmas can I? No we have uh, some other uh, similar items coming in later in the year but this collection absolutely not. Okay multicolor we also have the white can I show you something that I think is really cool we're gonna walk over here mailboxes it's a 50-50 shot your mailbox is either on, on your side of the road or it's across the street in the neighbor's 10 yard. feet or 100 feet you know right? it's always for me, it's not only across the road on my country lane, but I live on a farm. So if I want to put a wreath that's plug in or garland <laughs> that's luck. plug in, Correct. I've got to run an extension cord about a quarter of a mile. That's crazy. I can't do it. I never was able to light up my mailbox before. And there's something so nice about pulling up to the driveway and seeing a wreath it is. on the mailbox. And you don't have to go, not only is it on the mailbox, it's lit when you come home or it's lit when you come automatically. Out of and at yep. night when you go to sleep, it's gonna turn off for you. I can say with every bit of confidence in a guy that, that lights virtually everything that doesn't move, that I am yet to have found anyone who can match the quality of Bethlehem lights. Your design team is exceptional. You don't build things for this season. You build things for 10 years from now. Right. And normally, this type of quality is something you would expect to send an exceptionally larger amount for. You're getting catalogs right now in your mailbox, the big decorator catalogs. A 36 inch wreath in one of those catalogs will set you back well, well over $100. And I don't think that they can beat the quality. Here's an example. Our camera's gonna come all the way in. What they've done, and this is an outdoor wreath, this wreath could be up on a fireplace wall. Can you see how they put brown and wrapped it on the interior before they put the greeneries on? We'll bring our lights up so that you can see it. There it is. This is an outdoor wreath, and yet the same quality for their outdoor, you would be pleased to put on the wall in the living room. Right. Put it in a stairwell. Their outdoor quality, which most people just lump plastic right. together, is better than the indoor that I've seen in most areas. And our prices on this, just absolutely cannot be beat. If you can find their quality at a better price somewhere else, I don't work on commission. It doesn't hurt my feelings if you buy it somewhere else. You can't find this quality at this price. The other thing that you didn't see in there was wires, spaghetti mess everywhere. Yep. We hand craft, professionally string every single one of these lights. Yep. So you don't see the wires going from light to light. We actually run it back down the tip, then over to the next tip, and then up to the light which costs a lot more money to do, but it just looks better. On the 24 inch, we're talking about a lot of light. Sure, and the 24 inch has 25 LED lights. Yeah. We doubled it to 50 lights on the 36 inch wreath. Because this is your statement piece. This is gonna be the wreath. Most wreaths are two foot in diameter. That's this guy. When we go just a little bit bigger, it becomes the focal point on a bare wall and all you did, I, I mean, I hate to give away the secrets. We've, we've got this store that's not far from us where everything costs a dollar. Was that subtle? I got it. Was that pretty good? I pick up what you're putting down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the, the bows came from. So now, yeah. now that massive wall that all of us have, indoors yep. or outdoors, now just screams holiday and festive and right. fun. It's so easy to put up. There's no cords coming down. Yep. And the lights, we haven't really talked a lot about that. They're bright, but they're warm. It's kind of hard to get that magic mix. Yeah. Our lights are bright, so from the curb down the street, your neighbors, you they're see gonna, you're them. gonna see it, but it's still a warm, incandescent-like glow, even though they're LEDs. Okay, I'm gonna split my audience into halves. Okay. Because I wanna know who I'm dealing with. You got the just crackpot nut jobs like me, who used to put a wreath on a wall and would literally paint 
the, the cord, cord the, the same the wall, color as the wall. No more. Because I didn't want them to show. It is such a pristine, beautiful look. And a wreath in a window is a sign of welcome. This is a sign of warmth. And look how pure white these are. Now you're seeing the glistening effect. And all you did to get the glistening effect was to turn the dial on the exactly. battery box. There's a twinkle, there's glisten, and there's steady. What steady means is it's consistently on. And all of them can be uh, put onto a six hour timer. Yeah. You just, you will not find Bethlehem Lights quality like this anywhere else. In fact, these were made for us. We're gonna go off and say hello to Maddie. Maddie, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Maryland. How are you? I'm just fine, thank you. Uh, and I, I ordered two of the 24 inch wreaths. I uh, live in a senior development and I have a patio and this is a very easy decoration for me to put outside. Yes, uh, but it's also extremely elegant. Uh, yeah. So oftentimes, to make things easy, it looks like corners were cut. On this, they are beautiful wreaths. I think you're going to be more than thrilled. Well, they look beautiful on TV, and I've never been uh, dissatisfied with anything I've gotten from QVC, although this is my first Bethlehem purchase. Uh, here's the best part. If all you ever need are two wreaths, Maddie, I'll talk to you again in about 10 years, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I hope so. Because <laughs> that's, that's how long they last. Now, I will give everyone a little piece of advice. At the end of the season, take the batteries out of them, because that's just good. You don't want to store them all the rest of next year with the batteries still in, in the battery bay. But just take those batteries out and discard them. But one set of batteries is enough to keep you going for way past sure. the Christmas holiday. If you light them up on, on Thanksgiving night, they'll still be lit halfway through January. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Enjoy. Enjoy so the much. excitement that comes from decorating. And I do. Thank you so much, Dan. Wonderful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. As I get older, I had told myself a couple years ago, oh, man, i got to cut back. I can't keep doing this. Right. We put up, there's 5,280 feet in a mile. We put up 15,000 feet of lighting. Wow. That's almost three miles on our farm. And I just, I didn't have it in me. Uh, I, I had a heart attack in February of 2012, and I said, I, I can't keep doing it anymore. I've got the best guys in the industry, and I shouldn't say guys, guys and gals, in the industry. And they came to me and kept saying things like, let's make it easier so that people don't have to right. cut back. Right. So battery operator reads, you don't plug them in, you don't worry about, you're not using, an, we don't have enough electrical outlets on the outside of our homes anyway. Now, anything you want to light outdoors, turn to Bethlehem Lights. I have, you will. Look how gorgeous that is. The nine foot garland, you're gonna want two of them to swag them around the front door. You'll want a nine footer for a banister going up a stairway.